Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Training's Basic Merger Modeling Course Part 3 in which case we will build a simple merger modeling. We will quickly input some numbers for our target, calculating our income statement and our very selected balance sheet and then we'll do the same thing for our acquirer. We're going to copy and paste the numbers and double it up for the acquirer and then we're going to slap these two together and we'll create a little bit more detail of an accretion dilution model. Let's now turn to our Excel file that you should have open our simple merger model template. You'll see that this has three tabs. The first tab is our target company in which case we will build our very quick income statement using our simple growth and percents as well as our selected balance sheet and valuation items. We will then take this entire file, this entire tab, literally, I kid you not, we will copy and paste that into our acquirer tab we will double that up. That's now our acquire tab. We will double it up exactly on some selected key numbers. I'll walk you through that. And then we're going to go ahead. I would like you to please go to E9. Shift right arrow through M9. Shift down or control shift down till you select through your tax rate. Literally, I want you to select from E9 that entire block of numbers. We will just simply copy and paste and I hope you did it right the first time especially with the anchoring because we will update some of these selected numbers literally double this up for the acquirer so the acquirer will be twice the size of the target and we're going to merge them together. So now what you would do is copy it, control C. Then I want you to hit control page down to the acquirer. Go to the acquirer and I want you to go to cell E9 and just hit enter for me. Just hit enter. And when you hit enter, you've now doubled up, or no, you've now doubled up, you've now copied and pasted this as the acquirer. Now what we want to do is modify a couple of these cells. And I'm going to highlight these cells in yellow as we go along so you make sure you follow. And we're going to double up these numbers. Okay, so now let's go to cell E9 and make this I'm going to highlight these, these blue inputs. E9, make it 100 bucks. Make E10, 20 bucks, and then 2 bucks. Then go to compensation. E, you don't have to make them yellow. I'm just going to highlight them so you know exactly which ones. 36, 40, 16, and 4. Yes, we could just multiply all these by 2. Dilute the shares outstanding, 25. Just so we have a different stock price. Then let's go to our selected balance sheet numbers. We're going to change these, double those up. We're going to say 10, 170. Interest on debt, let's make that 7% instead of 10. And share price, let's make it 15 bucks. We're done. Now, let me ask you to confirm your earnings per share at EBITDAs in the last year, year four. And please make sure that you now have these cells matching. 89 cents, $50, and then 24.6%. If so, we're all set. So why don't we go now to the new code tab. I'm going to zoom this out so that we can now, let's do this at 100%. So now we'd be ready to rock and roll. 